Hey, I'm Don from Vernon 911. When I'm working on restorations, sometimes it takes quite a while to get everything or just exactly right. But now, with Generative Fill and Generative Expand at the same time, it increases my workflow and gets real accurate when I need it to be. I got two examples for you, one regular and one extreme. Let's check them out. All right, you can see in this first example here, we've got a tear down the picture here. Plus we get some black bars up top. Plus I wanna stretch it out a bit and get more of the picture of the girl. So the first thing we're gonna do, let's grab our crop tool here. Let's get rid of these black bars. Now this is all stuff way before we do any coloring or anything. Now, make sure it says background. And we'll hit enter. Now, this is the cool part here. We'll change it to generative expand. Go back to our crop tool. And let's give it a little bit of breathing room up top. On the side on the side, a little more, and possibly on the bottom. Let's go up here and hit generate. Now, we've got three options here. One, two, and three. Out of the three, I think I like number three. That looks great. Now what we can do, let's switch to generative fill. First we'll kind of zoom in just a little bit on the pick, bring it down. Now what we'll do is we'll grab our lasso tool, but first we'll rotate our canvas so we can draw a good straight line. Grab our lasso tool and let's grab this. And type in remove, generate. Now let's rotate R for rotate to the canvas, escape, and check it out. One, two, three. I think number one is just amazing. We got rid of that long tear. Now we can begin the process of restoring this pick. Now in the second example, this is an extreme thing that happens sometimes when somebody wants pictures done. So we'll do basically the same thing. Let's make sure that we're back on background on our crop tool. And let's bring the top just right about there. Let's bring it in about here. Right about here, just before his ear and the bottom all right cool now what we're going to do is we're going to do generative fill grab our lasso tool and let's lasso this right here hold your shift key down Grab this right here. And we'll grab this right here. Now the extreme one, we'll grab it kind of on the side of his face. Go up, fix anything we need to fix. Now let's grab this extreme one. Go up and around his mouth. Go up to generative fill, remove, and check it out. It's put back stuff that was never there. Put back the suit and everything. Now the cool thing about this, okay, we have three options. One, two, and three. Personally, I, I like number three here. So what we'll do? As we'll go back to our crop tool, put it back to generative expand, 
grab the top, grab the side, grab the other side, and a little bit of breathing room on the bottom. Generate. One, two, and three. Personally, I'm liking number two. If you don't like any of them, you can always hit generate again. Let's try that. One, two, three. Oh, I'm digging number three on this one. This looks great. And it takes your workflow and cuts it in half by fixing a lot of things for you right away. Now, if you want to see, let's zoom in here. You got a couple of creases and things here. So let's rotate the canvas. Grab your lasso tool. And let's just grab this right here. Remove. And voila. You can do that for pretty much anything on here. Or use the new remove tool. So let's rotate the canvas, escape out. And that's just incredible from what we started with. Here, let's make a stamp visible there. Before after. Incredible. Now your workflow is half done and you can start repairing all the rest. Very cool. As you can see these turned out unbelievably well and your workflow gets cut in half by messing about with cone stamp or anything else that you may want to use. If this video helped you in any way please like and subscribe. You won't break a nail. If you want me to create a video finishing the restoration on these photos Leave me a comment down below. I'm down from Photo 911. See ya.